All right, so in this problem, they ask us to find the values of each pair of expressions. So here, uh, here's one part of the pair, here's the other. They want us to find what value each, each pair has, so maybe we'll compare these two, see if they're the same or different. And the first part of the expression says negative 12 plus negative 4 plus 9. Now following the order of operations, you want to deal with the parentheses first. If I add these two, I get positive 5. And then I want to add that to negative 12, so negative 12 plus 5, right, or plus positive 5. That's going to bring me to negative 7, right, because it's moving up the number line from negative 12. So in that case, we get negative 7. Here, let's see if we also get negative 7. This time we have negative 12 plus negative 4, 29 parentheses, plus 9. Notice that we've moved the parentheses. Instead of having the parentheses around negative 4 and 9, it's now around negative 12 and negative 4. So this is now going to take priority. And this time we get negative 16 plus 9. If I add 9 to negative 16, what do I get? I also get, right, you might see it already, negative 7. And this is the same thing. How do I know, how do I know beforehand that I would get the same thing? You might remember that when you're adding some numbers, like A, B, and C, it doesn't matter what the numbers are. When you're adding, and you're only adding, you can group them in any way you want without changing the answer. This is called the associative property. It's kind of easy to see with numbers like 1 plus 2 plus 3. Right? If I add 2 plus 3 first, or 1 plus 2 first and then add 3, it doesn't matter, I'm still going to get 6. Same thing's true here. Notice I'm adding, right? In both cases I'm adding these 1, 2, 3 terms. So it doesn't matter how I group them, I'm still going to get the same sum. Part B is a little bit different. I'm not sure if you can see it, so I'm going to rewrite it. It says, for part B, I write in green, 14 minus 20 minus 2 to the third power, and then it says 14 minus, and then in parentheses, 20 minus 2 to the third power. Let me get rid of some of this here. Sorry about that. Okay. The major difference now is that instead of having um, addition across the board, we have subtraction. And yes, we could rewrite this with addition and then use the same property. Um, however, that's not what we're dealing with here, so let's just go with it and see what happens. So 14 minus 20, well, there you're going to get negative 6. And then you're taking away 2 to the third power. What does that mean? Well, 2 to the third means 2 times 2 times 2. And that's 2 times 2 is 4 times 2 is 8. So this is negative 6 minus 8, and that's going to give me negative 14. Here, we have 20 minus 8 is coming first, that's going to give us 12, and then 14 minus 12, that gives us 2. All right? so now we're getting different values, which tells us that it's not always true that if you're subtracting three numbers, right, if you group them in different ways, that could certainly change, change the outcome. So the associative property is not always true for subtraction, but it certainly works for addition.